mnatembea tembea huko na mapanga ati nini nini ati magari zikipita lazima mto ushuru mkivuta bangi ovyo ovyo kwa barabara ni nini hatuwezi hatuwezi hivyo kama yes. country we are past that ex mungiki leader maina njenga leo tumechikia kipele kwa kotini and uh, security venye security ni tight hapo hivyo makarao mm-hmm. mejukia kalea kwa pictures hivyo na chiki makarao meja zana vinoma kumanisha kuna kuna venye kuna zadhoka hapo hivyo mm-hmm. so njenga is also facing charges of engaging in criminal activities na bado police wana accuse of uh, inciting individuals pali hivyo wanyororo mm-hmm. kuna ira ito wanyororo of alikuwa na instruct kuhusu vitu nini ma story to connected na mungiki na get mm. na kwake kwake inasemekana kwamba kulikuwa gana uh, kulikuwa na police kulikuwa na gun kulikuwa na gun kulikuwa na mavitu za makarao hapo hivyo vitu za gava mm. na plus pia kulikuwa na bangi Bangi bangi, mm-hmm. bangi bangi imepatikana pale hivyo kwake. So hizo ni vitu vya ko accused in. Na bado wako accused kwa yeye alikuwa former ama Mongiki Mongiki group. Alikuwa hiyo ni group yenye ilikuwa ga pale hivyo imechacha chacha vinoma and you all know the story of Mongiki venye kulikuwa kumeenda na nini. Mm-hmm. And today ni unalea kwa kotini na sijui atasomewa nini na nini but uh, mimi na expect kuna kuna at least kutakuwa na justice hapo hivyo pahali because mongiki na shuku mongiki pia kuna venye imekuwa ikisumbua sumbua hapa nje mm-hmm. hapo kwa bangi mimi na feel i have a strong feeling yes because uh, njenga alikuwa ameshikana na wajakoya mm. maybe hizo bangi labda ni za wajakoya you never know these are just assumptions yes. sababu kiangalia mzuri sana easy ma campaign zote wajakoya has always been advocating for weed smoking mm. kwa hivyo there's a possibility ni nani nani ni escape god jenga ni escape god na hizo bangi labda zinaweza kuwa za wajakoya why I'm don't you why don't you think why don't you think inaweza kuwa pia ni framing ile vako yenye gava inataka kumkuweka kum, chini juu ako ako side za opposition juu mm-hmm. uh, mongiki ni kitulisha isha mm. trust me you hiyo ni kitu libriliwa na ilikuwa isha hata how nani, sure are you imeisha how sure are you jenga jenga unajua jenga unajua alikuwa amekuja ka reform sasa hizi alikuwa na on church mm-hmm. na uh, ni msi alikuwa na, anasimama mbele ya altar So, so you, nimse 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 Amerifon totally no ki confirm na pia uh, uh, nini report ilipatiwa pale na waki report uh, in the year 2008 venye walikuwa na drill mambo ya mm. uh, mungiki ilikuwa na confirmiwa ati mungiki walikuwa na held meetings kumaanisha hii mungiki pia msichukue ni kama ni, 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 ni shughuli ya njenga alafu pia gava pia wache kutupeleka ile vako yenyewe wanataka drill njenga uh-huh. ebu ngoja ati unasema ati hizo meetings zao zilikuwa zina held how yeah. njenga alikuwa hapo Wacha kuwekelea mambo ya state check. Si, angalia unajua hujafanya fanya hebu fanya research. According to what 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 report yenye ilitolewa 208, meetings zilikuwa zina heldiwa za Mungiki yenye ilikuwa na ilikuwa na pinga my guy. Acha nikwambie. Mungiki is an organized crime group na huyo mainanjenga, let me tell you, atashikwa na atakwa ndani. Hizo charges amekelewa hizo, aziezi kuwa ti ni here say ama ni Serikali iweze kaa tu chini alafu ikuje yekelee mtu. Si serikali yo. Unajua ni nini? Ni deputy, ni deputy president. Ukiangalia pia ukiangalia ukiwatch Kinley deputy president. Kwani si serikali? Ni serikali mbona mbona wanaanza kuwa active na story ya njenga venye sasa hizi sasa hizi wamesha get into government. Ruto, a... Ruto alikuwa governor the, the previous regime. Mbona wako nakimbiza jenga yoma time? Sasa hizi unaona gashagu anda na finya njenga. Confirm hata ukiangalia akiwa uh, chacha hapo hapo kiambuthika anasema and i quote anasema there is no way the, the, this criminal gang will be allowed to operate anywhere in this country mbona mbona enda na mbona enda na putin achi achi dc kazi yake wafanye wasijifanye wasijifanye wako focus na personal personal mean i feel and like uh, nani uhuru na raila are trying to uh, to resurrect mongiki because right now unajua instead of like in, instead of demonstrations wanaeka mm. mongiki come through yeah. Una get because Mogiki come through anachukua anachukua nani wame wame recruit anaitwaje Maina Njenga sasa ndio kweni kama jendo leader wao uh-huh. ya kuja hapo asemeniaje sasa wewe nataka uchukue group fulani alafu mkosi mkosi utatanishi ama mfanye kukweni kama kwa kueleweki huku hivi but what get? is the difference between Mongiki na serikali kwa sababu ukiangalia serikali inatoza ushuru wananchi sio yes. mm-hmm. Mogiki pia na toza ushuru wananchi yes. but then now if you look at if you look carefully youth have been go- ignored for the longest period of time uh, Our youth maneno ime imelengwa mm. so somehow nani amekuja maina njenga amekuja kafilini of void mm. aka create opportunity vijana waka mobilize waka organize mm. wakaanza ku collect ushuru yao unfortunately inafinya mwananchi wa kawaida mm. mm. but the truth is what is the difference between government yena impose tax yenye mwananchi hizi afford na chakula yote salary yao size imekuwa ni kama ni yote ni, ni tax 
na at the same time wana oppress tena mungiki watu wenye vijana wanajaribu kujimobilize ili wa make sure at least wako na kitu kwa mfuko sijui kama ulisikia sijui kama ulisikia songs zenye uh, au ma youths wakiwa pale hivyo nje ya kotini time ya mainanjanga alikuwa ameshikwa na DCI walikuwa naimba mm. and then little after interpreter can interpret alikuwa anasema this Kenya does not belong to the new wife come we cleanse you mount kenya belong to the warriors you have wronged us in songs zenye zina fazi na imboko 19 before 1963 i like the unity. kenya got independence mm-hmm. on 1963 sasa mm-hmm. right now tuko 2023 Manzi. tunaimba songs kama hizo ina maanisha kwamba ni kama tunarudi pale nyuma you know kumaanisha ni kama tuna freedom tunacheki unasikia the most dangerous thing mungu kinaweza yes. sema walifanya mm-hmm. ni kuimba hiyo song ya unity Mm-hmm. Hiyo ni lazima lazima me make sure me, 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 me put in kwa book me, me make sure ti ah say kwanza saizi mpaka saizi they are still united na m, nani maina njenga ni msema mpigana na moi for 12 years na jai lose any battle uh-huh. unapata lieutenant sound ndo alikuwa lieutenant wake ndo alikuwa na hiyo try kusema si, nataka tujue nataka kusema sasa hii what you are dealing aki, with unajua aki, 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 bishana na kashago yeah. ama ruto haezi shinda because si, msema alipigana na moi for 12 years you must know who you are fighting or what mm. you are fighting sawa sawa eh maina njenga ni mse mse ni, ni, ni mse by the way simchukue hivi kidogo kidogo ni mse mse very lethal ni mse hata tukiangalia repetition yake ndo mse asimamishi watu 500 mbele ya DCIC mchezo na gavik jaribu kumfinya finya tutaona hizi tuta hizi tuna hizi commotions it arise na hiyo si an issue size in an issue ni cost of living government yache kutu brainwash yache kutuzungusha kwa vitu zenye si important wa focus on the on the, on the important things so do you think the mongiki wanataka kusema mongiki wana try to fight hiyo cost of living ama try to tear us he reformed he reformed he reformed but unfortunately mimi nasema the whole the whole thing about unity is fine because if you look at mongiki the word mongiki comes from moingi mm. o, yani kumesha mingi mm-hmm. and the name bantu pia ni bamtu yani many people so mm-hmm. wana, wali wali create something in a, in a, in a unite mount kenya region mm-hmm. but again we have to also include also the rest the, the parts the rest of uh, kenya kwa sababu tunataka kusikia pia mungiki maybe pia kuna waluya hapo ndani mm-hmm. kuna waki, kuna wajaluo so that iko ni kitu probably ni, ni unified but wako organized but the purpose if i kwa ni questot questot uh, nini money from uh, the public inafai kwa ni kitu yenye a move yenye inaachanua vijana tufanye ni kazi let's work hard let's create opportunity for ourselves because saizi hivi vile tunasema there is no difference between so sometimes i do feel like actually i do not have facts with it but i do feel like saa zingine serikali na operate ni kama another criminal sect kwa sababu mungiki is an illegal group na kama ingekuwa legal ingekuwa registered yes. na certificate yeah. so that is an illegal group na hatuwezi hatuwezi entertain vitu kama hizo yes. his, his excellency our dear able rigathi gashago is mm. doing a, a recommendable job hatuwezi mm. saizi saizi si ile rati people can go around raping women mna mna tembea tembea huko na mapanga yeah. ati nini nini ati magari zikipita lazima mto ushuru mkivuta bangi of yoyo yeah. kwa barabara nini hatuwezi hatuwezi shivo kama yes. country we are past that unachikidon hizo vitu zote zitaisha let me tell you unachikidon hizo magu- those weeds that are tutazingoa hivi we will pluck them one by one and they'll go and rot Unajua, in jail what should you should know ni ya kwamba nani mungiki ilikuwa ni mnasema ati ilikuwa ni ina maanisha uniting kenyans mm. ndio ku unite vitu nini na nini but right now mm. vitu zime change hizo jina ilikuja ika change because vitu wenye alianza kufanya including hiyo rep yenye umesema na nini mm. vitu hiyo group ikakuja ika change ikakuwa ni very violent yeah. ikakuwa ni group yenye serikali inasema ni aje let's get rid of this mungiki na that's yes, why yes. Si, uti, that's what ona mm even in mongiki kuna watu wale wazuri wenye wa intention yao ni ku, kujibuild kama so, jamaa for Rona. example but kuna amongst them pia yes. wenye wana stand for what is wrong uh-huh. hizo ma rape hizo uh-huh. ma all those kind of things wenye walifanya mm-hmm. a long time ago uh-huh. we don't stand with that uh-huh. but there are those who believe in the unite, uh, unity of, of young people na ku, ku push for agenda of creating opportunity for the, the less privileged kwa society uh-huh. unaona but hata kwa gavapi ukiangalia kuna watu ambaye hawasimami na wananchi Unaona kuna watu wenye wafikiri mwananchi wa kawaida pale wao chini anaishiaje bado wanafinya watu so what is the difference between mungiki and, and na serikali that's why that is exactly what i'm asking again mimi naweza kujibu hivi the, the big difference is that mungiki ukienda pale hivyo mount kenya hani watu ambao ni walevi chakari Uh-huh. Na ndo ana complain the cost of living imepanda serikali haitupati kazi sasa serikali itakupatiaje kazi na we mwenyewe umelewa hata hata we ujielewi Bana. most of Una. the funny clips zenye tunalaga lala sasa wenye huko wamelewa na dunda dunda mingi hata zina zinalaga worldwide na ni zinatoka tu hapa Mount Kenya kumaanisha the same same group yenye ana complain hakuna yeah. kazi is the same people 
wenye hao wenyewe wataki wako idol pale hivyo nje that's why you see 500 yeah. youths wanatokeza tu nje ya kotini tu wametoka hata unashindwa wametokeza hapo those are yeah. 500 yeah. youths that have been ignored over the years unapata mm. and right now they are trying to mobilize themselves they are trying to see they are trying to create an opportunity yenye serikali inaweza inaweza wasikiza so they are united. united the same way unasema mobilizing yeah. is the same thing yenye unasema on a recruit it's just yeah. like yeah. saying wata wata recruit na the more unaza ku recruit recruit wa say unajua venye ku recruit mungiki ndio inge mungiki unafaa kufanya nini na nini na nini itakuwa ina create vitu zingine zenye atuta furahia no, you timo i don't understand this government you see uh, wanasema nga when a high na wants to hit it, its kids mm-hmm. at at accuse kwanza wana smell kama goods mm. during campaigns our 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 nyona wa mungiki saa hizi they were hustlers mm-hmm. mbona saa hizi imefika sasa wanaanza kuframe wana kwa mungiki the government inaanza ku kitu bado mpati sense ni government ina frame nani uh, maina njenga kututolea ama kutueliminatia the important issues zenye ziko kwa meza saa hizi kama Kenyans saa hizi cost of living they kwa meza mbona tuletee story ya mwenye alikuwa sha reform ako na church already ako na wafuasi ana anaona preachia mbele ya hotel i think the fear of the government at all time nyoka tenye mayuto wameungana wanafanya something pamoja mm-hmm. union of wanafanya fear exactly. yao mm-hmm. and at all times unaona that's why unaona hizi mambo na maandamano it youth coming together but we don't support the violence hii kupigana kutupa mama mama mawe atu support hiyo mm-hmm. but the thing is the government at all times is afraid when youth especially the singing part unaona mali alikuwa naemba unity mm. that thing was very powerful and, but what are they standing for that is the question another intriguing thing eh unaangalia unaniambia huyu jamani pasta yes pasta surely bangi inapatikana kwako kwa nyumba bisho 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 kuna utabangi another thing guns ammunition yes. bunduki zinapatikana mm-hmm. kwako kwa nyumba alafu unaniambia ni pasta Aha. pasta nafaa kuwa na biblia kwa mkono mm-hmm. hizo vitu zingine hiyo hiyo kwanza hiyo kanisa tutaenda kuichunguza tuangalie ni kina nani wana wana, wana attend yes. hiyo mbona mbona hapo kwa DCI ni vijana pekee walikuja hapo yeah. mbona siko na wamama wao kanisa kulikuwa yeah. na wamama hapo hivyo kulikuwa na wamama walikuwa na niulize don yeah. Uh, mtu kama njenga mbona mm. anze kukimbizwa saa hizi time jagashago ako, ako already kwa comfort zone yake ni DP na ini ni ya mongiki ili cost Kenya sana there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a special uh, investigating uh, department pale UN mm. walituma specialist hapa Kenya na aka confirm during 28 up to 500 youths mm. waliuliwa ndo wa eliminate mambo ya mongiki 500 youths kefa 500 youths wanauliwa ndio it makes sense mbona oh, oh, bishop, oh, bishop, oh, bishop yeah. vile tu umesema bishop yeah. unafaa hata huwa anafaa kwa kama pastor Ezekiel ukishatoka kotini ama nini unatembea tembea na bible vavaa va, white white lakini yeye mwenyewe anakaa ni kama pia bangi bangi ni nini ameshakiwasha alafu ameingia koti kotini alafu uko hapo tu unamtetea unasema ti oh kila kitu iko sawa sasa nimesema labda ni wajakoyo unajua wajakoyo amekuwa akisema bangi bangi kwa kila sauna na kwa campaigns labda wajakoyo ndio hapo anapita hapo mweshi nafanya kuna nuka hapo hivyo bishop akasema vute moja ah sasa unajua wajakoyo pali yako unajua bangi lazima ataongea mambo ya bangi sasa mambo kama ni bangi zilipatikana kwa nyumba ya nini ya 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 nini ya jenga nikomesha labda wajakoyo alenda kutembelea jenga akasahau vitu zake huko hii swali bado nakiliza bado huyo bado ndo mtu unasema ni bishop bishop natembea na mrasta kila mahali hizi unajua ni allegations mbona mbona mmejipelekwa hizi hizi bagua these are hizi ni allegations mbona kipelekwa DCI unajua we noticed over the weekend akipelekwa DCI aku confirm what nini anakuwa arrested for hizi hizi allegations zenye wanasema zimekuja over the weekend njenga akipelekwa DCI alinyang'anywa hadi kwa lawyer wake hadi lawyer wake alikuwa anasema my client has been taken to unknown locations lazima tumtress mbona alikuwa anafanya hizo vitu they were doing that kufanya uchunguzi yes sawa na uwezi uwezi zuia serikali kufanya uchunguzi yake and these people are very they are very mature they are very they are experts in what they do uwezi niambia ati mtu anapelekwa Kiambu wewe pia uambiwe ati huyu jamaa anapelekwa Kiambu kama alipelekwa DCI na vijana watu walikuja hapo hivyo they are jo angesema ati anapelekwa mali pengine what chaos chaos ingetokea sana so cheki yeah. kenye na kenye pia mimi nafikiria because uh, Raila Odinga is the leader of the opposition na uh, sasa ukiangalia kotini unaona maina njenga Ma, kona madhakarua madhakarua anafanya nini hapo hivyo una get ye bale ana ye sasa ametoka ku, kwa kwa opposition leader ameshaingia kwa ni kama sasa law ana kri ana defend ma criminals hapo hivyo nje una get mm-hmm. ye ni kumacha pia anajishusha anajishusha nini anachoma picha kivi yake yeah. sivyo unajua get? iko nyimi na kosa ku understand kitu inafanyika so, hapa ni framing framing mm-hmm. ina happen in that hawa si ukiona opposition wana jump in kusaidia njenga njenga ameanza kudrilliwa na ameanza kukimbizwa the moment alienda akapia matanga that's not the reason but the demonstrations the demonstrations you say demonstrations as iko ina maanisha kwamba wanaingia pale hivyo eh inakuwa ni mungiki wana nini wana an enemy a an enemy of my enemies my who your friend my friend sasa hiyo ndio kitu kinafanyika they have a common agenda 
wanapata pale hivyo serikali wana feel mwafinya kina matakarua and that's why unaona wana wana link up ama wana wanaji uh, mobilize na anybody probably mwenye anaweza kuwa na drive towards agenda ya change so mm-hmm. it's a desperate move it's a desperate action so you cannot say at oh mbona ana stop low at kuwa na collaborate na nani so moja mimi nazapenda nikuulize ni what is the main reason why uh, the former president Uhuru Kenyatta alirudi tena kwa siasa mm. what do you think is the meaning yeah, 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 amerudi kujitetea ule ru, but u, former presidents you know the former presidents of Kenya venye yeah. usha retire we ishia he, home usha after six he's, yeah, the yeah, former, yeah. he's the former lakini like, still the, the party leader wa let me also ask you Aji. let me ask you Timo eh? yes unasema amerudi kwa ulingoni nani kila saa gashagwa kila saa alikuwa na shida mention jina Uhuru nani alikuwa anaweka kwa relevant Naruto kila saa alikuwa na shida mita jina Uhuru kidogo shambaki imechomwa huko hivyo kidogo kidogo mambuzi zake mm. zimechomwa zime amekula nyama huko amekimbiza una, una get mm. so this guy ni how ndio alimuita akarudi kwa ulingoni wa siasa sio akurudi hivyo tu kurudi so you want to say gashagwa ndo aliiba hizo mm, nini mbuzi za nani who knows yeah. we do not questions, have facts questions we don't who knows. Sure gashagwa alikuwa anajiuliza ni who is funding the demonstrations yeah. and even right now who is funding mungiki yeah So, so, get, so those bina mancha kuna sawa big pale hivyo inje wanyametulia tu wanyako mazio zinatoka because unaona sawa sawa ma youth wanashikwa na rekrutiwa sasa hii hakuna majobs Kenya so mse kama youth tumeshikwa tu hapo hivyo mbeni aje shika thao ingia hii cult flag ingia it mokiki more, it's best that the government wana forward wana forward admire the fact that youth are united no. they are doing a common a, a, are we really a, united no they they lazima waonyeshe ni lazima support nini okay. an organization yenye ko united mm. na waambie okay we do not like your former agendas mm-hmm. You are involved with all, with all these wrong things you my rape cases na manini manini uh-huh. manini. Mm. How can we support you? How can we help you so that you stop all these things and it becomes inclusive that all the tribes are part of that thing. But it's for the sake of ku push nini kijana wa kawaida pale hivyo aamuke agutuke aise ku change life yake. That is what the government should do. But they, but they are united doing something that is wrong. Yes. Uh-huh. If hiyo unity yao ingekuwa ni kitu inajenga serikali na sisi kama wananchi tunafurahia, hiyo ni kitu ingekuwa ingekuwa legal na inakubalika. Lakini whatever they are doing, whatever they are advocating for, it is not allowed in this so country. Right now the government And is imposing tax left right on everything. There is tax on product, there is also tax nini tax za importations zime zime skyrocket. Right now munaona venye hata mwizi afford ata nini petroli. But the answer so, should not be mungiki ndio na fact. Yeah. So I think it's the youth kwe, tax mm-hmm. now to toa lazima tutoe. Youth are desperate. Youth are desperate that's why they want to mobilize. Wana wana wako willing to be part of anything in mm-hmm. the drive towards change. That is what the youth are doing. They are hungry. They are they are there is a void yenye jenga na ana ana feel pale venye government imeshi imeshindwa you know reality eh, but we, we do not support some of the activities zenye zingine yeah. mongiki wamefanya along <laughs> gashagwa gashagwa sahi ana fight against illicit uh, brew brew zenye zinafanyika huko hivyo mount kenya and people wana mwanaambia hey, gashagwa nyamaza utawezana na umse but gashagwa ko on the right nini because huko hivyo wana struggle na hizo ma story na mapombe na ma kila kitu so right now mimi si hodi si ajar hizo nenye you guys mnaza tulia tu pale kwa podcast mseme you are supporting what mongiki Z- ni wapi wapi huko Timo yenye hao watu walianza kunywa pombe wakiwa job ni wapi huko hao kwa na job wala wala mwanja have you listened to the have you listened to nani bishop nini bishop huyu mainanjanga speech zake venye anatoa anafuatwa speech kama kama bishop mwenye anasema niaje mimi kama bishop nataka ni unite kenyans nataka ni unite mungiki ni semeni aje eh hakuna haja vita mkikuja hata kotini fanyeni hivi na hivi but yeye hajafanya hivyo speech zake ni za kuinsight speech zake zile zenye yeye inaonesha yenyewe humse ni kama labda alikuwa na rao pale ama alikuwa na uhuru pale so ametokezea ameo mimi yeye ni aje sasa ku hii ndio rada inaenda hivi una get so he should act as bishop venye unasema kuna church wapi hiyo church yenye huko sio international tutaitunguza hapo nje hapo ile sad yes. the whole thing about mungiki imekuwa politicized mm. na the fact that tunani yako the opposition opposition side that's on na serikali na mtafu ina mafuta mm. but in real sense mwenye ataumia hapa hivi ni mwananchi kwa hivyo mwananchi hawa vijana wenye kwa pale chini wenye wanafuata huma ina njaga nje wataumia but the intention i believe at the end of the day ni economical crisis yenye Kenya wanajaribu ku solve in their own way the, way, the best way they can sasa hawa vijana mimi sioni ubaya yao the only thing wanafafanya ni training na kujua the reason why this group started as a government hani watu wa dini wa serikali maina so, njenga serikali inafai kwe very much involved maina njenga maina njenga tunajua kona nguvu wa kona nguvu ya mm-hmm. kupula out umati ya even a hundred thousand ama even a almost a million ya wase wakama po hivyo inje mm-hmm. but hiyo nini yake hiyo power yake anafa asitumie tu wati yo kwa yeah. ku kunyanyasa nyanyasa tio wa Kenya manini because you unajua venye sahi kukidhoka nini zafanyika you know the violence in Kenya to share experience una get 
Yeah. So atfai kufika point yenye atio because maybe the former president ama kina Rao waelewani na Ruto. Uh-huh. So my youth hapa chini ndio tuka tukabaki sindo tunanyanyaso ama yeah. sindo tunambweni aje shikeni mapanga shikeni hivi na hivi tuaribu kwa ri kwa ri. We totally agree. We don't want youths watumie vibaya mm-hmm. kwa sababu my youth for the past uh, elections wamekuwa kitumika vibaya pesa kidogo kidogo wana yes. wana commit crime. Mm-hmm. That really totally don't support. Mm-hmm. Lakini spali sasa hivi size imefika maisha imekuwa ngumu kijana hapa alivyo ground na umia vibaya sana and that's why you see they are willing to join anything yenye nakaa inaza change life yao hiyo point umesema ni poa sana maisha imekuwa ngumu yes. alafu sasa mimi maisha yangu inakuwa ngumu alafu wewe bado unadai kuniongezea iko ngumu zaidi, zaidi. uki uki, uki extort money from me na pia mimi naumia let me tell you whatever you do yes. has consequences kila okay, kitu yenyewe utafanya iko na consequences na utalipia kindly kijana pale nje usi usikuwe excited that uende kufanya vitu zingine za upuzi kindly utapigwa viboko utapigwa viboko <laughs> before show issue ndio zapenda kuuliza what happens if maina njenga get arrested what do you think can happen mambo itachemka vitu zitaribika kama kusema what happens kama raila ameshiko ameenda missing am i go missing don't even I, think about it because mm, mm. mambo itachemka vibaya acha nikwambie if he is guilty if atapatikana atakuwa guilty yes. he'll be arrested na mambo ikichemka we as the government have the the equipment no one is above the law itachemka yes eh tutachemka nayo Ah, yeah. Wajaichemke. Yeah. 